the future of reproductive rights in the state of Ohio is very uncertain. One in four women in their lifetime will choose to end a pregnancy. One in four. That also means that one in four men have contributed to a pregnancy that has resulted in abortion, whether they know it or not. So we have to keep in mind that men are part of this equation as well. Welcome everyone, I'm so excited. <laughs> so this was an idea a couple weeks ago, okay? I floated it around to some people um, and some people were like, you know, I, I only think like maybe 30 people will show up. You know, I don't know if it's really gonna make a difference. Um, I put something out with some of my followers on TikTok um, and said that I really wanted to do something here in Loveland because Loveland is a community that I, that I love. This is my community, this is my home, this is where I raise my family, um, this is where I take part in recreation. I have friendships and relationships here and it's a very important part of my life. Um, and I know that this community is not being represented by representatives or politicians that align with this community's values. I created this event for my daughter. I want her to grow up in a world where she has control over her future. She has access to well-rounded public education, no matter what district she lives in. That she has access to safe and affordable medical care. That she has the freedom to love and marry whatever partner she chooses and that she is paid equal and fair wages based on her contribution to her employer and not her gender. And finally, to be able to feel safe in her community, free from gun violence and sexual assault. I don't think that's too much to ask people. We just want women and girls to feel safe existing in their community. So what's at stake here? I'll tell you what, the Supreme Court has literally ripped away protections for women and children, people of the LGBTQ community and everybody else. It's opened the door for Ohio politicians like Jean Schmidt, who is the state who is the state house representative. She is my state house representative in district 62. She does not represent me and my community. She lives right here in Loveland. This is in her backyard and this is why we're doing it here, okay? She thinks that sexual assault is an opportunity for a woman. Well, I'm gonna give her an opportunity to retire. Most women who end a pregnancy give more than one reason for doing so. Right, never. Reasons uh, could be as varied as wanting to finish an education, a educational or training program, wanting to maintain physical health, mental health, financial health. Maybe the pregnancy is the result of rape or the product of an abusive relationship. Possibly a planned pregnancy has been diagnosed with severe abnormalities. Whatever the reason, the right to continue or end a pregnancy must be preserved. Always. <laughs> 